We need discipline, we need purpose, we need to have parameters set for us. And, and truthfully, as a person, you're happier that way. That's why I quit drinking. People think I quit drinking because I reverted to Islam. That's not why, I actually quit drinking two months before that. And I was extremely effective on alcohol. I was, I, I would drink four or five times a week because I'm extremely rich and I have a very good life and I'm in my mansion and I'm drinking and I've got all these hot girls. I was still world famous. I was still making millions of dollars. I was still in fantastic physical condition. All the videos you watched me from a year and a half ago, I still look like a bodybuilder. I still outperformed everybody. You loser in Starbucks, me drinking, even though I had no, no, I didn't have a drink problem. I could easily quit. In fact, I didn't even want to drink most of the time. It's just a party going on. I was still monumentally successful in alcohol and I could continue to drink alcohol for the rest of my life and still be top G forever. What shifted? But, but I stopped because I thought, will I enjoy, this might be an oxymoron. This may not make sense. It may be counterintuitive, but let me say it. Will I enjoy having less fun? Will it be fun to have less fun? And I was sitting there to Tristan and saying, maybe, he said, I was being interesting. We'd, we'd, it was a, it was actually, it's on a take confidential. You can find the take confidential. We got on a private jet. I think we were in Prague. I don't even know where I was. Yeah. We were drinking gin and tonics the whole time. It was $250 per megabyte of Wi Fi. So we put the Wi Fi on and was playing music to run up this $30,000 Wi Fi bill on the $50,000 jet, drinking alcohol. We flew into Cannes in France and we landed and we stayed in this massive mansion with all these beautiful women. And we're drinking and partying, whatever, whatever. And when that ended, I said to Tristan, okay, that's all fun. But would it be fun to have less fun? My brother's sitting there with a, with a whiskey and a cigar. That's goes, so funny. He goes, <laughs> what are you talking about? And I said, maybe instead of spending all of our money doing this stuff, we should spend all of our money getting very regimented. We should have loads of members of staff and we should be up at exactly 7.46 and we should have a coffee ready and hot at 7.47. And at 8.01, we should go into the gym and we should finish at 8.27. And we should have all of it. We should have everything regimented and we should produce more content than ever before, become richer than ever before and build a massive empire. Skynet, and Andrew. Just, yeah, and just become <laughs> extremely, bo not boring, but just remove the fun and have fun in not having fun and just being monumentally competent and effective. And Tristan said, that doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> to continue to, to sip his whiskey. And I said, well, yeah, okay. Well, I'll try it. You can continue to have fun. I'll be the boring one. Let me try for six months to give up all fun yeah. and just be boring. And then I learned some very interesting things during that time. Firstly, I learned that the whole idea of drinking for being social is now gone. I think I, I, we're at the age where if you were 21 and you didn't drink, you didn't have a life. It, you'd go to the club, you were drunk. Bro, I never drank. I don't drink, I ah, don't smoke, nothing. Fa fantastic, okay, yeah. well then, sorry for calling you boring with no life, sir. <laughs> but in England, in England, 10, 15 years ago, it, you just went out, there's clubs, there's girls, yeah. you're drunk, it's like a social thing. And if you didn't drink, people were like, why? You were socially weird. That happened to me all the time. So I just stand with a glass, just pretending that it was vodka. Yeah, there you go. But. Now you don't need that for, for socializing at all. There's no reason to drink for socializing because everything's online anyway. You meet everybody on apps. Nobody cares about drinking anymore. That's the first thing I learned. The second thing I learned is that being exceptionally regimented is fun. I truly enjoy it. I enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed being... I mean, because what would happen before is I'd do all my work and I'd train hard and I was always an effective person. I was still a thousand times more effective than the average man. That's why I was top G. And then I would take six or seven hours and drink and smoke and have fun and enjoy all my the fruits of my labor. I became extremely rich. Why not get on a private jet with 20 girls and why not go to a yacht in Croatia with 30 girls and have fun? But now instead of spending those six hours having fun, I spend those six hours continuing to work. And I enjoy it just as much. So now I'm sitting there going, well, I enjoy it just as much. And I'm not damaging my health in Today. any way. Yeah. I enjoy it just as much and I'm making more money. I enjoy it just as much. I don't have all these stupid girls messaging my phone, annoying me. So isn't it just to jump off that chain for a second? It's kind of amazing. I just said stupid girls messaging my phone, annoying me. It's every man's dream to have 50 beautiful women begging him on his phone. I can't explain how much I, it pisses me off. Yeah. It's like I need a whole new number. But it's way annoying. They don't get the point. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it really, truly yeah. ruins my day when a beautiful girl's like, can I see you? It's like, oh, I've got things, I've got work to do. I'm regimented. I have to sit here and type. I don't want to talk to you. And, and then they call you misogynist. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to.
texts and have fun and party. I don't want to do any of that. I want to do emails. You don't get it, woman. I know to you it makes no sense. Yep, yep, but yep. you already have all this money, Andrew. Why do you want to do emails? Because that's my fun now, regimen. So I decided to dedicate six months to being boring. And by the end of the six months, I was having so much fun being boring that now I will probably never drink again. I am 0% tempted to drink ever again. I am 0% tempted by fun, which is what you said. And I completely get it. When someone goes, hey, Andrew, I'm like, what? we're going to go here and it's going to be fun. I'm like, nah, you have fun. I'll do my emails. You enjoy. I don't want to go to clubs. I don't want to go to some party. Maybe it's also being locked up. I like to self-analyze, but because I've been stuck in Romania for going on two years now, I'm not even, people say, when you're free, where are you going to go? I'm like, truthfully, home, nowhere. Uh, yeah, like I'll stay in my house. I'm not interested in traveling. I'm not interested in seeing anything. I've seen it all anyway. I've been everywhere. Like I can get, I can go to a restaurant in Bucharest or I can get on a plane and I can fly to France and go to a restaurant in France. Who cares? I'm above it all. I'm over it all. I, I want to run my empire and I want to have as many children as possible. And I want to spend time with people I love and I want to beat my brother Uno and that's it. I don't want to do anything. Maybe I've gotten boring. Maybe I've leaned too much into the boring character, but I truly enjoy just being boring and regimented. No, you're committed to your I'm, purpose. I'm committed, yeah, yeah. And I like getting as much work done as possible. And and that's why I'll never, ever drink again. So the whole concept of fun is alien to me. I totally get it now. When you said that, you're, yeah. you're totally right. It's, it's, fun isn't fun. Fun's not fun. Bro, this is fun. Yeah, this that's right. Because it's, it's, it's unknown, man. I don't that's know right. what's going to happen there. That's right. This is fun. And then achieving things in work is fun. The only the only thing I guess I can say I do for fun is driving fast cars, but then I need to make eight hundred thousand dollars to buy a Ferrari. So it's st it's still work involved, you know. There's still work involved. I need to invest in the infrastructure of my country in order to do that. Yeah, there you go. You'll, yeah. you'll pull it off. You'll, get there. you'll be new president. <laughs>